Let's jump into it. Oh boy. Teardown has begun. Why are you laughing? That's why people shouldn't be around when you're recording because they think it's funny. All seriousness though. Um, I got a timeline, guys, of about two months is what I'm trying to get this thing done in. And we have a lot to do. We sold a bunch of parts off the 6.0 frame, which is good. Um, we built a stand to put the cab of this truck on. Right now, I'm obviously just trying to get some of the piddly stuff off so I can start kind of slowly doing body work on that and just kind of jump around basically. And I gotta decide if I'm gonna have this frame blasted or the cap blasted or if I'm just gonna go through and sand it all down because this is lacquer paint and we will no longer be having that. Uh, not sure if we're gonna have the well I doubt it I doubt we get the truck painted this year uh, if I can get it in primer <clears throat> for show season I will be happy uh, but we obviously got a lot to do um, my biggest thing is getting it running and driving uh, with all of my frame and stuff all powder coat and everything else and I did pick up a eight and a half inch lift well it's six and a half to eight and a half inch just the lift so old cage nuts not fun I give her the beans sometimes, you know. Here's a little hint. I gave her the green beans. You'll know what I mean later. Some people already know, but... trying to bend this fender out but for some reason my socket will not fit in here very good.
bolts are about as hard to get to here in these days as they are now. Get fender ridge? No? Okay. Oh. That's one. shows that I'm really trying to get to is uh, the Panama City Beach truck me. Uh, which is in like September-ish, end of September, beginning of August, I believe. Um, I have my six liter entered, which is the truck I'm tearing apart back there. Uh, but this will be the body on it now so hopefully that'll be kind of like a debut or a big show for this thing to debut and then uh, maybe next year come back all painted up and done This fender is actually not in terrible shape. So we might actually be able to, uh, I think we're gonna keep this one. I'm not a big aftermarket parts guy for uh, body and stuff on these old, old vehicles, so. Um, and actually, if anybody has any uh, front doors, driver and passenger front doors, rest free that are OEM. Uh, I just need bare doors, I don't need anything else. Uh, drop that down in the comments and we'll figure out how to get a hold of each other if you wanna sell them. So I don't really want aftermarket doors, but I will do it if I have to. Okay. Let's get in here and see what kind of stuff we got. Cause I obviously haven't been in here thus far. So right off the bat, we got we got stuff, you know, not not good. Um, cat mounts though actually look uh, pretty good. Obviously this will all be cleaned up and fixed, but maybe just a little bit starting. terrible I got new rockers um, these ones they're not terrible but I got some stuff right there that I want to take care of and all these seams and stuff I'm gonna probably end up replacing this also right here but um, these I I would like to get rid of seams uh, not really get rid of them but kind of hide them a little more we got new cap corners and stuff from Bronco Graveyard. So, here's the interior of this truck. I don't know if I've shown you guys that, but uh, let's see. 27,000. 
well that actually shows 2786 so this thing must have just rolled over um, because no it'd be like 27,867 so um, but honestly they might be legit numbers because the brake pedal and the gas pedal are not that wore out, guys. Like this one just got the little the little feelers right there rubbed off of her. So it might be a true 27,000 mile truck. Clean. Sort of. So yeah. Okay. Now I'm going to do the other side off camera. Um, and then we'll figure out where to go. Okay, so we got this other side off. This side is not near as good. Pretty thin and crusty. Big old dent up here, which I'm not too concerned with the dent, but it's more or less all this cancer that's around here and kind of sucks. But found out this this truck used to be red and silver. And seen some other spots right here like showing that it was red but now I just seen this so definitely gonna be replacing that now uh, but this side I think solid um, cab mount is also pretty solid this floor pan is bad this is the only bad floor pan on this truck is this passenger front side so okay so I think next we're going to pull the hood off and get this core support and stuff off here. List some parts for sale. And then should be getting ready for a cab here soon to pull that. Hopefully, if I get time, hopefully I can get that done this week and get this cab on this little stand I made here. And I made this so we can put it in the garage. Um... And move it all around and everything else I did get like I said earlier these parts from Bronco graveyard all these are made uh, in the US so that's kind of cool and then we also got ordered four of these rockers um, not sure wasn't sure exactly how the rockers would be on this truck and they were cheap enough so I just went ahead and ordered four um, which I don't think they're terrible, but I just want to make sure. I want to paint this truck once and be done. So, okay. Anyways, I guess we'll start pulling some other stuff off and go from there. <laughs> 